Hello, my name is Maya, and I'll be critically analyzing the Bathhouse for Both from a historical art perspective. Bathhouse by Deborah Turnbow is an image that was in vogue in 1975. Her art has maintained some classical elements, but her paintings portray the room gazing away from the audience. Her artwork is distinct because of the pastel, sepia, and black and white palette used in most of her images and how the picture looks grainy. The location of the photo being a bathhouse also makes it distinct as this was the first time that fashion photographs were captured in decrepit locations, but it also gave an exclusive look to the private life of women, something that wasn't publicized before, and from the perspective of a female. Using the negative space in her art creates an eerie feeling, and the use of the bathhouse that is classically decorated doesn't convey common messages in classical artwork of tragedy or beauty, but invokes the viewer to ask, what's the matter, and is time to put in her obituary that she conveys an elegiac landscape defined more by absence than by presence. The models in Turnbull's work are portrayed as idle, lounging around, and appear sorrowful. Berger points out that in classical paintings, the male gaze is the focal point in art, whereas Turnbull's work is less sexualized and soft. Her work uses the male gaze to make people question the impact of the male gaze on expectations of women and portrays a look like classical painting, but with an eerie air about them and a strong fashion perspective. Bodies in this photograph are all posed differently. The image of the woman on the bottom left is covering her body and appears to be sorrowful, whereas the woman on the top left is the woman of color and is looking back with a look of distress, almost like she is criticizing you for looking at her. Her knees are facing inward and her arms are closed covering her breasts. The woman in the center of the image is open in terms of her body pose and is looking down, appearing to be emotionally closed off. Even though she looks to be the focal point of the image, she is looking down to take the attention off herself and doesn't look like she wants to expose herself. The woman in the back right is covered and appears to look like a damsel in distress, whereas the woman in the middle right is looking in the camera and appears to be domineering. The outfits of all these women are different. It covered two women up whereas three women are wearing bathing suits popular in the 1950s that cover up most of your body but are form-fitting. Two of the women are also wearing swim caps to cover up some of their hair, which is used to represent that fashion in that time period. All the women in the photo are wearing white, which is usually a color used to portray innocence. The image invites you to question the gender roles enforced on women by society. Altogether, the women in the photo seem to question if you are looking at them in a sexualized way, to question why it is so normal to do so. In Turbo's image, she aims to portray the frustration and softness that express the expectations of the female gender to always smile, look pretty, dress a certain way, and be gentle. The different way she portrays each woman differs from the way we are taught to act and behave like a woman and portrays the frustration of having to be polite all the time. Examples of the different ways she portrays each woman differing from the way we are taught to act is demonstrated by the woman on the bottom left, who is looking down and seems sorrowful. We as women are taught to smile and look happy all the time. She is also wearing a robe covering herself, which is usually used after you're done swimming. In the photo, she is wearing the robe to express that she is done with the expectations that come with being a female. Something that we are also taught to accept is the male gaze and the woman on the top left is criticizing you for sexualizing her as a foreign fantasy, and the representation of women in color in the photograph also challenges the idea of ideal beauty as being a white woman. The woman in the center of the image is in an inviting and open pose but is emotionally closed off, trying to fight from the expectations of a woman to give herself away even though she isn't willing to. The woman in the top right appeals to the idea that women need help, and the women in front of her look like they are almost shielding her, whereas the woman in the middle right appears domineering and breaking the mold that women don't need help and that women are in control. To conclude, Bathhouse by Turbville uses her unique style and use of negative space to create an eeriness to the photograph that questions the use of the male gaze and expresses her frustrations of the expectations of the female gender. Thank you.